Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, it's Doc from SampleKings.com, and we want to talk about setting up your Mac for using audio and MIDI input and output, of course. And so you'll see here, for one thing, I've got this I.O. set up here. Oh, yeah, if you want to see these lessons as well, you can buy our DVDs at SampleKings.com. There'll be a link down in the menu, and you'll also be able to... Um, join our streaming site. We can watch all our DVDs 24-7 and there'll be a link for that as well. So here, as you'll see, we're in the I.O. setup and we only have this, this built-in microphone on my computer. But I'm also using uh, a complete Audio 6. Let's show you that first. Now here's our complete Audio 6. You'll notice here uh, in the lower left-hand area right here where my cursor's at, we have the input 1 and 2. Left and right, of course. Above that, three and four. We're not going to use that. We have an output of one and two. That'll go to our speaker system and a spit of connection right here, which is, of course, the RCA cable hookup, which also offers syncing. All right, right here's our main volume. We have our MIDI out here, plus MIDI in. We have 48 volt phantom powering USB connection for power. And to our monitors, one and two here. And here, of course, you have headphones, right? So let's look at one more thing here. This is the ins and outs. And they're on two sides here. So we saw with the 48 uh, phantom powering, this is on top with USBs at. Here's the MIDI in and out. We have our main outputs here, right? Balanced outputs right here. And here we have three and four balanced, of course. This is out and this is in. And this is out and in. This is our SPDIF. And below, here's our input, gain input, and monitor, and this for our headset as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Complete Audio 6 plus the inputs on Pro Tools in our Mac. Next, what I want to do is set up my audio MIDI setup. So let's go uh, back. Let's close this out first. Let's press OK. We're going to go to Setup again. We're going to go to MIDI. We're going to MIDI Studio. So this loads up here and we can see our audio devices. If you don't see this window, you want to go to window right here in the menu for your audio MIDI setup and select the audio devices. As you can see here, we have built-in microphone, we have built-in output, we have a complete audio six and we have Pro Tools aggregate IO. And you notice here the microphones right there, which implies this default input for our setup. I just want to make sure that I'm going to use the microphone uh, from the Mac and then use that for the input. So I go here to microphone and I can go to here. I'm going to right click on that little and say use this device for sound input. And now you'll see the little microphone appears here for the built in microphone. And I click here. I can see that we have six different inputs for complete audio six, which you showed you already. And the outputs you see here are six as well. Two mains, three and four, and a spit if. And we have a clock source. The internal clock source is going to be the complete audio six. So when we go here to the Pro Tools aggregate IO, we'll see everything. And what this does, it sort of routes all our signals between the computer and the complete audio six. As you can see here, we have built in, we have built in here, and we have complete audio six. As I click them, we sort of see what's happening here. You see these numbers here one and two inputs, built in output one and two. And this is a great way for me to work within Pro Tools that Pro Tools designed for Mac users. So I can go back here and next what I want to do is I want to go back into Pro Tools. We're going to go to Setup now. We're going to I.O. We're going to I.O. here and right here. I want to make a new path, another input. I want to plug maybe an instrument up into the complete audio six and take audio in. So we're going to go here and see we're in this setup here. I'm clicking right there. No, we want to, yeah, we want to make a new path. I want to select the path. Matter of fact, let me go to here. And I'll say new path. And here it is. New path dialog box. I can create one new path. 
It'll be mono. It'll be an input. Yep, that's it. Create. And now it's there. I want to label it. Though. I want to call it something. I want to call it complete audio six. Enter. And now that's the path. So I'm going to press OK here. And if I go here to my inputs interface, I see it right there. Complete audio six. So I can go input through my complete audio six or input into my computer using my built in microphone. Now, our next lesson, we're going to use these inputs and we're going to record in the Pro Tools. As I said before, if you want to see our full DVD series, you can go to samplekings.com. You can buy our DVDs or get the download as well or join our streaming site called Sample Kings.